Hi everyone, in this video I'll try to solve the uh, other maths from uh, this analytical trigonometry. We'll do 19 number maths from here. 1919 number, this is actually 7.3. So 19 number question is... Nineteen number question is this <coughs> mm, cos two theta equals to minus one by two. So cos two theta equals to minus one by two, and let's uh, let's, let's see let's see where this cos two theta is minus one by two. If we draw a circle here, uh, if we draw a circle here, unit circle definitely unit circle so where, where is this uh, minus one by two cos as you know cos in this box cos is positive this box also cos positive so these two box cos is positive so cos is negative only here and here that means our answer will be here and here because value is negative that's all and cos is one by two where at six degree right cos 60 degree goes to one by two so value is actually actual value should have been here but our answer is not in the in these two box so we have to go for the reflection of this of this point suppose if you draw this line this line is not the solution this line is one solution so this is one and another box will be this point's reflection is here so this two this two one is here and the one is here this is actually 60 degree here 60 degree here and the small angle is 30 degree so now look at uh, what is the value of angle one solution is actually one solution is actually 90 degree plus 30 okay 90 plus 30 this is one solution what's going on in my mobile okay i do not know yeah okay something is going on so uh, 90 plus 30 okay 90 plus 30 equals to 120 120 in terms of pi 120 is what so 90 plus 90 plus 30 120 so 120 divided by 180 then this so 2 by 3 so one answer is 2 pi by 3 this value this value is 2 pi by 3 2 pi by 3 i mean if you convert this uh, 90 plus 30 90 plus 30 means 120 120 if you convert it then it will look like this so this is one answer and another answer is here which is actually 270 minus 30 270 minus 30 means uh, 240 so 240 divided by 240 divided by 180 i'm just converting the degree to radian so 4 pi by 3 so another solution is 4 pi by 3 okay so we have got two solutions here but the problem is in the question it is given in terms of 2 theta so for 2 theta we have to use the periodic property basically in most of the maths in all the maths you can use the periodic property but uh, uh, for this maths especially we have to use this uh, periodic property or else it will be confusing uh, to get the answer because actual answer is not this actual answer we have to divide that number by two anyway so our solution is our th there will be two formula for this one formula will be two theta equals to solution line two pi by three plus two pi k two pi k or two two pi k and another solution is two theta equals to for this one now two theta equals to 4 pi by 3 plus again 2 pi k where k is any integer we have to write k is any integer any integer or you can write integers now we will put the value, value here so basically for this value we have to put one uh, formula then you have to put another formula you see the theta 2 theta is here 2 theta is here so in the calculation you have to bring always the 2 theta there that side for our calculation purpose now let's put zero okay when k equals to zero k equals to zero if you put then what is the solution here if you put k equals to zero then answer is c this term will become automatically zero k means zero means everything zero here then if you send this to this side so it will go down that means this two and that two will be cancelled out so answer will be pi by three from this value and from this k equal to zero so it is zero and so answer will come 4 pi, 4 pi by 3 divided by 2 i mean 4 pi divided by 2 into 3 so then 2 and that 4 will be cancelled out it will come it will come 2 pi by 3 i mean this 2 if if this 2 goes there then 4 and that 2 will be cancellation then it will be 2 pi by 3 so this is our one answer then let's put k equals to 1 
then if we put k equals to 1 what is the answer coming we will show the calculation here so to, this is also uh, this and this cancel out then k equal to 1 means 2 pi oh 2 pi then this is actually going going it looks like it is going more than no no, no it's not going 2 pi by 2 means pi so it's, it's within the range okay let me do it so it is pi by 3 plus 2 pi k by 2 that means 2 pi uh, that means only pi k equal to 1 k equal to 1 that means it is only 2 pi divided by 2 that means only pi so it is only pi here so the answer is 3 pi plus pi that means 4 pi and from this side if we do the calculation then it will become first this divided by 2 that means 2 pi by 3 plus this divided by 2 so 2 to cancellation it is 1 so it is pi so it is 5 pi by 3 5 pi by 3 so uh, that's it in fact uh, you can you can go ahead and uh, go ahead and try to find some other value i mean you can put k equals to 2 k equals to other things also if necessary but these are the answer within our range uh, let me show you i mean just to avoid confusion if i put k equals to 2 this is not answer by the way this is i'm just showing you so that you understand if i put k equals to 2 there is some problem here and the problem is see this if i even if i start with this is small value if this is small it will be pi by 3 plus 2 so it is 4 pi 4 pi divided by 2 that means 2 pi so you can see already this is 2 pi plus 5 by 3 but our uh, question has uh, this 0 to theta to uh, 2 pi our question has some condition and condition is our answer has to be within this uh, uh, 0 to 2 pi range but this value is 2 pi plus something which is more than 2 pi that means this value is not within the range so our answer is this poor answer so answers are if i write the answer so answers are pi by 3 2 pi by 3 4 pi by 3 5 pi by 3 so that's it and uh, thank you all thank you very much and best of luck bye bye